Hi guys, so I decided to vlog a little bit today because I don't actually have anything else to do. Um, I've been like feeling a little bit sick under the weather and so I decided to stay at home even though my friend went out um, to visit like a Meiji shrine which is something I'd really love to see myself but I don't think, like I'd rather be sick this week the next week when uni starts and I feel like I'm here for 10 months so I'll definitely have enough time to um, visit stuff and do some sightseeing and everything. I hope to do something tomorrow though because this is like the second day I'm doing nothing. Yesterday I was I was feeling a lot worse actually. Today it's a little bit better already. So yeah, I just wanted to show you. I'm currently on like the balcony of my of our apartment. Just want to show you the view. It's really cool. I've never lived in this big a city before. I've never been in this big a city before and just seeing like this many buildings and things. It's crazy. It's actually raining a little bit right now, I feel like. Um, yeah. It wasn't just my imagination. Um, it's actually still pretty warm. Like 24 degrees, something like that, which is pretty cool. Uh, especially since in Austria it's like 8. <laughs> the family have told me that's like really cold and here it's pretty warm, so that's awesome. Um, today's actually the first day that the weather isn't sunny and amazing, so yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you our apartment real quick because again nothing else to do and also I feel like this is going to be interesting for me as like memories. This is our little balcony. I just put my towel on there because I'm so scared that it's going to fall if I put it here. I really am. And then this is our washing machine. I love how everybody like passed their washing machine and stuff on the balcony. That's really common actually in Japan. And then you come in here. Well, I actually should probably turn on the light because it's sort of dark or can you see it no Let's see there we go a little bit better the ad actually said that it was for two to three people this entire room um and i think there's like a futon down here but we decided to just sleep on the bed like every like um mary has her head here and her legs here and i have my head here and my legs here so it fits it's fine like it's not the most comfortable but it's okay we're just here for five nights so we definitely can manage we have a tv that we haven't tried out yet actually we still have to do that and then in here is the kitchen. We have like a rice cooker and a, a kettle, a microwave, fridge, everything. This is really cool. Like it's pretty well stocked actually. It has almost everything that you could need. And then in here is like a small bathroom. We actually found this place um, over Airbnb, which um, is like a site that people like not only it's like not just for hostels and stuff but people put up their uh, like flats and apartments that they have for rent and sometimes you can also rent like a room in somebody's um, flat or house but um, often it's also just apartments like this one which is really small but it's totally fine I mean it's actually rather inexpensive considering it's literally in the center of Tokyo <laughs> and it's uh, usually a very expensive area so I'm pretty pretty happy that we found this. It's got everything that you need and it's got really like it's really well stocked. Like even we even have a hair dryer here and we have like cutlery and utensils and um, plates and everything and there was even water in the fridge that he put in for us because we arrived really late on Monday and didn't have a chance to go to the supermarket and you're not supposed to drink tap water here. Yeah, I think at least like we tried it and it was really disgusting so I wouldn't recommend that. So on Saturday we're moving into a student dorms and then on Monday it's like an orientation ceremony and stuff and we get some information on how to enroll for classes and everything and then also we're taking a test to determine what uh, level our language skills are on so they can put us in the right classes and also to sort of determine if we are capable of like taking classes in Japanese as well which I'm um, excited to find out that but I think like I'm theoretically sort of like I think upper intermediate or something but I forgot so much over the summer and I'm sort of starting to like relearn the kanji now which is working pretty well but still I like I'm watching some Japanese stuff and just being surrounded by Japanese it does help but like help a lot to come back but I think I have to also study some more before that just so I can be placed in the right class and you know sort of regain the skills I'm supposed to already have it's kind of sad but true that I forgot most of everything so far we've only been like we spent the entire day yesterday here and then Mary went out today a little bit 
to do some more things, I just decided to stay here, as I said, because I don't want to get sicker. This would be quite annoying. <laughs> uh, I feel it's just the stress, probably, of just arriving here and being surrounded by so many new things, and my body is just like exhausted from the plane as well, everything. So, yeah, we've kind of gotten used to jet lag by now. We slept like from midnight till half past nine or something this morning, so that's pretty cool. Um, we've, we've sort of regained a proper normal rhythm. So I bought this, <laughs> which is like a multivitamin drink or something. Um, it says it's like has like 11 white vitamins in it. It doesn't actually taste too bad, it just tastes like multivitamin juice, but it has like these little gelatin pieces in it that make the consistency kind of disgusting. And I'm probably gonna drink it still because vitamins, good for your body when you're sick, but yeah, I don't. I don't know, I'd probably not repurchase this to be quite honest. Another thing is that we've really only been living off of supermarket foods, which is fine. Like, we've not cooked ourselves anything, we've just like bought like pre made things because we tried to go eat and then it just, we were just, we we're just too scared, honestly, I think, to just go eat. And also, it's quite expensive to eat out. I mean, it's expensive to buy things at the supermarket too, but yeah, I wouldn't say we were scared, but it's just difficult to sort of get yourself to speak. A language when you are not sure that you can um, basically convey the things that you want to convey you don't want to cause any misunderstandings and I'm myself I'm just generally like not the most comfortable in social situations like talking to people I don't know is not easy for me and then talking to people I don't know in a language I barely know is even worse and yeah it's it's a struggle <laughs> and even in the supermarket like I get so nervous and so like that I'm I'm worried that if I you know start speaking and like they they talk so fast and for them it's just like a, just another thing that they're saying and I'm like I just understood that it was a question but not what a question was or something like that and it's just confusing to me and I'm just yeah, and then the, there's the thing of like this being a whole different culture so there's a lot of things that I don't know like customs I don't know and how to behave is different of course as well and everything so uh, yeah I, I'm just <clears throat> this is all a little much to take in at first but I hope it's gonna get better soon I'm actually convinced it's gonna get better soon because it kind of has to but I think it would be kind of interesting also to sort of document that. Maybe it's interesting for you too, but I also think that it's going to be really interesting for me later on to go back and watch this and realize um, and like sort of be able to sort of trace back the process of how to get, how I got used to the culture and how I sort of acclimated to being in Japan. As well as with the language, I've been thinking about doing sort of like language updates or something like that, or a language diary where I talk about how I'm <clears throat> sort of getting along with it, how it's I'm progressing or not progressing, hopefully not, but you know, <laughs> it could happen. So if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments. Um, I was thinking about doing a whole separate vlog channel, but I think I might not have time to do any sort of main channel videos, which this is my main channel because I don't have just this one. But if you, you know what I mean, like book related or language related, where I like actually talk about specific things, um, I don't think I'll have too much time to do that. So I'll just keep posting vlogs and stuff on this channel for now. There might be some proper videos in between, but I just don't think I'll have like a regular schedule of that just because this is going to be a crazy year and I'd rather just document this process um, on here for me to watch and maybe for you to also learn something from if you can. So anyway, I'm gonna end this vlog here. See you guys soon. Have a lovely week. Bye!